guys. Welcome to Heather's Treasures. We're going to do a wire basket today. And I want to show you how to do the weave. Kind of a weave. Um, with my bamboo skewers. So you're going to need some core wires, which I have right here. I've got them cut at... Oh, I think I cut them 9 inches. Yes, 9 inches. And these are 16 gauge wire. Um... This was my first attempt. <laughs> I didn't know how to end the top, so I was just kind of like weaving it in, and, and it kind of went a little wonky on me. But my core wires were only 20 gauge, and I used 24 gauge weaving. So I bumped up the gauge to 16 to make them thicker, and then this is 22 gauge wire, and I've got probably 9 feet. I folded it in half to get the center and then I wove it onto these spindles to make it easier to do the weaving. I think this is called a single rope weave. You're going to take your weaving wire, you're going to find the center right here, and however many core wires you're going to start with, I wouldn't go more than four, but we're going to do two on this one. And kind of like make a plus sign. And then you're going to take this and put it right there. You're going to butt it up against the other two wires. Okay, now you've got a top wire and a bottom wire. The bottom top wire is going to come down underneath the weaving wire and the core wires. So now you've got a top wire and a bottom wire and they're just flipped from the other ones. So now you're going to turn it. Bottom wire is going to come up. Over. And these are going to go underneath. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing. Bottom wire comes up and over. Top wire comes down. Bottom wire outside comes up and over. And your top wire will come underneath. Just like that. And then you just get to keep going around and around and around until you get the base of your basket diameter created. Try to get these as straight as possible. We're going to go four. We're going to lay these down here. They don't have to be beautiful. Just as straight as possible. And I'm not, I'm not real worried about it. Because we're going to be bending them anyway later on. Now I went with nine because I want this to be an inch at the bottom and then at least two inches at the top coming up. And then I have to have excess wire to, to fold it down into the crevices. So I got my center right here. I'm going to feed it. And this is the fiddliest part. I got to pinch that down a little bit. Now, I, I did nine feet because I just don't know how much I'm going to need. Uh, I'm guessing that I have enough. So, that's my hope. Okay, so. Got the wires here. And you really do need something like this. You can use a bobbin. One of those metal bobbins. Those work well. So, the top wire is going to come over. And the top wire is going to go underneath all four of those. I gotta hold this. And you want to get that nice and straight and, and snug. You want it snug. <clears throat> Alright, so now the top wire comes around the outside and under and 
the bottom wire comes up and over. And top wire goes out, down, under, and there. Bottom wire comes up and over. All right, now we've got them secured. So let's see, top wire comes down and we're going to do, we're gonna come up between two of them this time. And that one goes down. Top wire, down. Bottom wire up and over. This wire comes up. This wire goes down. Okay, so now we need to get our wires kind of straightened out here. Make sure that we're even. All right, so now we're just gonna continue this for a few more weaves. Okay, now we're going to split these up and we're going to do it around just one. <clears throat> okay. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a piece of tape around this top wire, this first wire here. So I know where my beginning is. You can do this with as many wires as you want, I guess. Um, you could do, you could just start out with two and maybe add more wires, just poke them down in the slots, but I want this to be, I don't want anything to come apart, so. I'm just starting with as many wires as I, as I can. All right, so we're back to the beginning. And I'm gonna continue doing this until I get to oh, one whole inch. So I think maybe one more row of this. And as your wire gets short, you can just give it a tug 
but don't pull out too much because they tend to try to get tangled. I thought 16 gauge would be easier to hold on to, but apparently, you know what? <laughs> These are my 16 gauge guys. Oh well. This must be 20. No wonder I'm having a hard time. We've already started, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish with what we've got and hopefully it won't be too wonky looking now we're going to bend these up to the angle of the basket that we want We're just going to continue doing the same thing that we've been doing. Okay, for a basket this size, nine feet was not enough. And I'm not gonna try to add wires to it. So what I'm gonna do is, cut these two wires down. I'm gonna trim off just a bit of that one. And we're gonna tuck it right down in, just like that. We're going to give this one a bend. Tuck that down just like that. Okay, so now we're going to take this wire behind two and we're going to join it into that hole right there. Okay, so that's one, two, and now we got to come up underneath that one. Okay, so one, 
two. Okay. My basket's all done. <clears throat> now you can flare these out if you want. I think I want to just bring it out just a little. It's not perfect, guys, but I don't. It, it, it's cute. What do you think? I think it's a adorable. Hang on a second, we'll bring it up for a close-up so you can see close. I think that looks really cute. Like I said, it's not perfect. It's, it doesn't have to be. This is a gift. Well, it's actually going into my miniature house. My Naomi house. If you guys watch my videos on Fridays, that's where this goes. There, now I got them all tucked in there, no, nothing hanging out. There you go, guys. A basket! Made out of wire. Isn't that cute? Alright, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate you coming and visiting. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you make it. You know, I was thinking as I was doing this weave... If I could make it really neat, wouldn't this be cool as a <clears throat> standalone piece of jewelry? Um, like a bracelet. When, when though, you know, you could add beads if you wanted to, but maybe a crescent for a, a necklace like this. You know, just a bar type thing. <clears throat> I haven't worked any of that out, but if anybody wants to try that, do so and let me know how it works for you. But this was really cute. This looks really good. I'm, I'm proud of it. All right. We'll see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.